Welcome into Lemons to Lemonade. If you are new here, we're a furniture flipping family located deep in the heart of Texas. We bring you exciting furniture flips for profit premiering each Friday afternoon. So if you enjoy that content, do us a favor and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a flip. This week, we're flipping a French provincial dresser and a nightstand set. This caused quite the headache for us this week. Oh, I hate this piece but I won't spoil it for you. So come on along to the garage and we'll show you how it's done. Let's go. Let me give you the scoop on this piece. So I saw this on Facebook Marketplace. It came with a dresser, a desk, and a nightstand, and it was marked at $100. I thought, what an awesome price, let's go get it. So I sent my husband over to get it, and it turns out that I probably should have read the measurements on this because it's a kid set. Yeah, I didn't know it was a kid set when I looked at the pictures. So I thought, oh well, $100, that's okay. Pretty good price for three pieces of furniture. Let's get it. Well then, lo and behold, I didn't know that someone had already redone this as well. <laughs> so when it came home, I thought, oh no, someone has already painted this. And I didn't realize what a headache it was gonna become because they, bless their heart they painted it but they didn't do a very good prep work and they painted it with latex paint which was peeling and uh it just required so much more than i thought it was going to require it's all right I, we know how to do it it just i thought this was going to be a quick and easy flip and it didn't turn out to be that way First things first, I've got to remove all of the hardware. They've used two different types of screws on the hardware, so I had to switch back and forth between a Phillips and a flathead. But again, that's okay. <laughs> we know how to do this. So anyways, all the hardware is coming off. I'm not going to reuse these knobs. I'm going to choose some knobs that are more true to a French provincial piece. I always make sure I clean my projects really well. I like to use crud cutter mixed up to the bottle directions and some warm water and make sure everything gets a good scrub and then I will wipe everything down with some clean water to make sure all the crud cutter is off as well. Okay, first attempt to get off the latex paint. I'm gonna use my citrus strip and put it all over these dresser drawers. It's got purple latex paint and yellow latex paint on it that we have to get through before we can get down to the original factory finish on that. So uh, it's gonna take a few steps and first I'm gonna try to strip it off. I like to use a nice thick coat of citrus strip when I'm stripping latex paint off. And we are in Texas, so things dry much faster here because of the heat. So I am gonna work really quickly to get all of this put on and then use some saran to cover the drawers and let the citrus strip work for about an hour before I come back and strip off the paint. I am working on the nightstand that came with this at the same time. So everything that I'm doing to the dresser, I'm also doing to the nightstand. I'm just not showing you that whole transformation until the very end, just so I'm not boring you, but <laughs> everything I'm doing to the dresser has to be done to the nightstand also. 
The white that you see underneath this is the factory finish on the drawers. I'm not so worried about that. I do need to use some mineral spirits to deactivate the citrus strip. So I'm going to use a liberal amount of mineral spirits with some steel wool and make sure I get into all the corners and edges and deactivate this citrus strip. We have a Makita battery powered orbital sander that attaches to a vacuum, which I cannot say enough good things about. This sander is amazing and it blasts through anything. It has three power settings, so it can be light or it can be really aggressive. So we're taking a 120 grit sanding pad to the drawers and anything that has the leftover citrus strip on it. And then we're also going to use it on the edges of the dresser. The top part, they left the factory finish. So that was white and not painted with latex, but all the edges they got with the latex paint. So we're just gonna quickly go over those and get off any um, residual paint that's left on there on the bottom as well. They've got some purple that's on here that's peeling. We're gonna need to blast through that a little bit. I didn't go into a whole lot of videoing of all the detail work that we had to sand and get that latex paint out of, but it was a lot. And that's where a lot of the headaches on this project came from was just some not very good prep work and then lots and lots of peeling of that paint where I couldn't get the citrus strip into. So we had to use the sander a lot. It was a lot of back and forth with the sander and the citrus strip to make sure that this was left with a smooth finish so we could apply paint over the top. I'm going to wipe back all the sanding dust with a damp cloth before we get started with our prep work and our paint here. And then I also need to cover my photography backdrop with some plastic sheeting so I don't get any of my paint on it. We're going to use a very bright color, which you'll see in a minute. So I need to make sure that my backdrop is covered so we don't paint that. We decided to prime this piece because there were so many different finishes on it. I just wasn't sure. And it had already given us so many headaches. I didn't want to run into bleed through at the end of it. So we used Zinzer bins as our primer, run it through our HVLP Gravity Fred sprayer, and everything got a good prime before we went in with our paint. Now that our Zinzer bins is dry, we're gonna give everything a scuff sand with a 220 grit sanding pad to make sure the surface is nice and smooth before we apply our paint. We chose the color Eros Pink by Sherwin-Williams. This is their Krylon chalk paint that you can purchase in their stores. It is a very bright color. I wanted something cheerful and happy on these pieces. Wow, look how bright that is. I cannot wait to see this on this dresser. Now that the first coat is dry, we're going to go over it with some 400 grit sandpaper just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. This is a really bright, dense color, as you can see, so it only took two coats of paint for full coverage on this. 
Now that both of my coats are on and dry, I'm going to go over it with some Helmsman Spar Urethane. This is a water-based poly. It is a really great product and it hardens really well to a nice diamond finish. I do three coats on my dressers because they tend to get a lot of wear and tear on the tops and on the drawers. So I will go over this dresser three times with this polyurethane. I found some French provincial handles that were true to the piece on Amazon. I'll be sure to link those below. They were black and then kind of scratched up so you could see the silver underneath. They were really, really cute. So they just added an extra little pop to this dresser so that the handle stuck out against the hot pink. So before the big reveal, let's break down the numbers. We picked up this dresser with the nightstand and a matching desk for $100. We purchased the paint for $22. Uh, the black provincial poles from Amazon were $24. And I'll be sure to link all the products below that we used in the comments. So our all-in price is $146. I listed the set last weekend on Facebook Marketplace for $350. We have about 70 views so far and more than a dozen people have saved it. So I'm going to wait a little bit before I drop the price. It's back to school week here, so it's an off week for furniture flipping. I'll keep you posted on how it goes. So, are you ready to see this hot pink beauty? Here we go.